Hello friends and welcome to Pi Shine. This is part 3 of the Raspberry Pi series. Today, we will use Pi Camera to stream video to an HTML page. We can find the specifications on this web page. The module has an 8 megapixel camera for video and images. It can support videos at 30 and 60 frame rates. Pi Camera works with all Raspberry Pi models, including the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Pi Camera library is available in Python, which can be used to set various properties of this camera. Now, Let's look at the Raspberry Pi Zero W, which has the Wi-Fi integration. With ad hoc wireless connection, it can connect to other devices. You can find more details on this Getting Started web page. The Raspberry Pi Zero W model, weight only 9 grams, has a single core processor, powered by micro USB. Pi camera integrates with Raspberry Pi Zero W, in this box. After that, we can use it for multiple applications including first person view, or FPV. We can mount it on a remote controlled toy and power it up with USB cable and a battery. Now, let's see how to stream the real time video without any Wi Fi router to a mobile device. First, we need to configure the Raspberry Pi Zero model in ad hoc mode. You can easily configure it by following the link in the description. Using a Python code, we will transfer a video stream from the camera to a mobile device over Wi-Fi in an ad hoc mode. We will also learn how to configure this Python code to run automatically whenever the Raspberry Pi powers up. We will configure the Pi camera and stream the scene information to the mobile client. The client will use this HTTP address to access a web page containing real-time scene information. In this lab we only require two Python modules as shown. We will replace the previous code with this one in the main.py file. We have set the resolution of camera to VGA, but you can also use higher resolutions like 1280 by 720 pixels. The image rotation can be set in degrees. We will use Bitvice client to copy this Python file to the documents directory of the Raspberry Pi. Now, we will configure the Raspberry Pi in ad hoc mode. Please follow our previous tutorial about ad hoc configurations. If you want to access the internet, you can switch back to Wi-Fi mode as well.
the new settings will appear after the reboot. So, let's run this simple code. The video stream is available to client at this address. Now, let's close this terminal window and configure this Python code to run automatically at the startup. We will go to the profile and put the location of Python code as shown. Save the file and restart the Raspberry Pi. After restarting, the Python code is run automatically and we have connected the mobile client to the Raspberry Pi. That's all for this tutorial, have a nice day and see you again.